Okay, I'm now going to attempt to show you how to set up a Sunvision Cyclone Micro 4 media player. This is the device, there's your remote control. I've put the two AAA batteries in the back there. I brought down a couple of spares just in case the ones they've sent uh, are not okay. And I've tested my own ones with, you should, everybody should have one of these. If you own batteries, you should get yourself one of these. Silver line battery testers are brilliant. All you do is, I might as well show you, attach the battery to the bottom there and then at the top and you get the needle will swing to show you whether the battery is good or not. It saves you so much time faffing around wondering whether something is not working or not. So anyway, um, the reason I bought the Cyclone by some vision is because my Asus media player has failed and this is what an Asus Opay looks like. Just look at the size difference. Apparently these do the same thing so if I put the Sun Vision on top of the Asus, <laughs> spot the difference. Um, like I said, I've used this for a few years now, so it has given me plenty of service. This was either it was either hundred pounds or one hundred and twenty pounds new. This thing, um, and it works exactly the same. You basically plug in an external hard drive using the USB port here, connect this to your TV, and it enables you to play whatever files you've got on your TV. Um, so anyway, that's the Sun Vision is going to replace that. I'm just going to show you the box of, um, so you can see exactly what I had. Asus Oplay HD2 is the one I had. It was either £100 or £120. I honestly can't remember because it was a few years ago. And these are the types of files it can play. You can compare that to what the Sun Vision does if you want. I would think it's almost exactly the same. Okay. So, bye bye Asus Oplay, you failed. Ooh, let's not get any cables caught up, let's get, get the right ones here, hold on. Oh my god. Cables, why do they get cable? get all tangled up immediately? It's amazing. Right. Oh god, right. Yeah, sorry about that folks, right, Asus now untangled. So, get your Sun Vision device. Attach the USB cable they've given you to the USB port on the plug, the UK plug, like that. And then plug that end into where it says DC 5 volts there. Uh, just in case you're wondering where it says LAN on the back there, that's where you could plug in a um, internet cable, RJ45 cable. If you wanted to uh, view stuff coming in from the internet on your TV, you can do that. That's the HDMI cable. Um, they don't provide you with one, so you're gonna have to buy a separate one. Um, cables cost anywhere from two pounds each upwards on sites such as eBay or Amazon, whatever. Um, I've already got one attached to the back of my TV. I'll just try and show you. I've got Panasonic TV. So where you've got sockets at the back of your TV here, you can see that's where it's attached back on TV. So attach one end of the cable in your TV there. Wire it up however you've got your TV fixed. Then the other end for me comes around the back. If you see what I mean, back of this shelf I've got the TV on, which needs a dust. Sorry about that, folks. So that's the HDMI cable there. So now you're going to want to plug that into the Sun Vision device. So it's hard to do this filming and holding. I'm going to put the cable down a second. Right, so get the cable the right way round. It should be simple enough to work that out yourself, folks. Right, so like that, and obviously then connect the cable to the HDMI socket there. I'll try and do that one-handed if I can. Okay, so HDMI port is now on there. Uh, now, so that's attached to TV. Then obviously you need to plug this into a power source. Ta da Plug on the wall, plug that in. Plug is already on. Okay, so 
device now should have power right you've now got a red light on there on the top of it and when you set this up when you want to use a remote control obviously when you're making changes you've got to point your remote control at this device don't point them at your tv and think oh the control's not working you have to point at this so you've got a fairly small target and i believe you're, you're pointing towards that tiny little bit there so it's up to you oh the light's now gone blue okay that means you can see a little blue light led light is inside the device so now uh, this is an external hard drive hitachi toro these things cost um around about 100 pounds for a four terabyte hard drive and because i film so much on my camcorder like i'm doing now i end up with literally thousands of videos so these things here are what i dump my camcorder footage onto so now place your hard drive uh, somewhere close by to where you're going to have the sun vision device. So I'm going to put it up on this shelf here. I'll stick it up the wrong way around just so you can see what's going on. Right, USB end of the hard drive. I'm now going to attach to the sun vision device. Okay, so obviously get that the right way around and attach that. So hard drive attached to the sun vision now. And then obviously, now I've got to find the cable for the um, Hitachi hard drive I'm using. So here it is. And now, uh, it's a very good idea to write, uh, put you know, put a piece of paper on every plug you've got and write what they are. It makes it so much easier to work out stuff where else you end up with loads of plugs and you don't know which one's which. So just do that. Put a piece of paper on there, stick it down with serotape. I've called this one HD hard drive for media player. And again, plug in the hard drive. So hard drive should now have power yet. It's got a blue light. So for now, whoa, nearly dropped it. I'll stick that up there. So hard drive is there. Some vision, as you can see, some vision is now attached to the hard drive. Some vision is attached to the TV through the HDMI cable and some vision has power. Okay, that's pretty simple. I'll stick the Sun Vision up there just for now. I can get it to stay. Uh, you're probably going to want to, I don't know, find a way to hold it in place if it doesn't stay in place. Right, so now I'm going to switch on my TV on the side. <coughs> Sorry, I've just taken in some dust. We need to have a dust in this area. Okay. Next thing to do is get my TV remote control. Um, okay. So, with your TV remote control, what you normally do, go to the AV button. Uh, what am I doing? Probably pointing at the wrong place. Oh, there we go right so press the av button then you get a choice of selections normally for me it's it's the hdmi 2 that's the particular socket on the back of my tv it could be hdmi 1 for you so da, 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 da. Um, now what is that device on so let's see i'm now going to push the, the power button on the sun vision see if anything changes with that Unless I've gone and switched. Let me just check it's not on HDMI 1 or something like that. Something silly. Mm, HDMI 1 is also nothing. Okay, so I've got nothing at the moment. I'm pretty sure. Let me. I'll use my TV remote control. Power up my Virgin Media box just to check. HDMI 1 is, if you like, my, my paid for TV channel. If they ever come on. Oh, God. I'm pressing AV just to check. Okay, come on. Why are you being such a pain when I'm trying to make a video for people? Oh, I don't get this. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna power off 
the Virgin Box, power on the Virgin Box again. Sometimes it does that, sometimes the TV stations don't come on the first time, it's blooming annoying when it does that. Oh my god, why? Why does this happen to me? HDMI 1 should be the TV channels. Except I've currently got nothing, so I'm going to try HDMI 2, just in case I did switch them around last night when I was mucking around with cables. Okay. <laughs> there you go, so I have switched things around. HDMI 2 is the channel I've got TV channels on with Virgin Media. At least I've worked that out. Which means, I think, therefore, HDMI 1 is going to be for the Sun Vision. So, I currently, I've got nothing. Ah, let's press video on the Sun Vision, see what happens. <laughs> well, this is not going to be a quick video. Sorry about that, folks. First time I've ever used this. First time I've set it up. Red, I presume, means it's off. So, you saw me press the on. So, let's try that again. Let's try the power. I wonder if it's the batteries they've given me. I wonder if the batteries are duff. Oh, there you go. No, it's just changed to blue. So, power button. Make sure your device is blue to give it power. Ha! I just had a glimpse. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, once you've powered up your Sun Vision device, you should get this channel on your TV on whichever HDMI cable input you've you've chosen it for. So, video is what I want. So, I'm going to click video on the um, remote control while pointing at the device, obviously. Okay, and that goes to this. On Asus Oplay, it gives you those choices. It gives you network, media server, and it usually gives you USB, because obviously you saw me connect it with USB. Aha, device is one of two. How do I, let's see if I can use the arrow button. I need to find the USB input, don't I? Yes, I do. Come on, I'm just trying up down button to see if I can move. I wonder if I've got a problem with the USB cable on this hard drive. Only way I could fix that is if I go and get another USB cable. Because at the moment that's not showing up, is it? Anyway, in order to select network, I'm just going to try see if it's that main button there. Point it at the device. Mm, that just goes to my shortcuts. That's network. So it's not network. I know that. So back button is that one there. Point at the device. Okay, so I'm wondering whether I've got a problem with the USB cable on my hard drive. <sighs> right, I'll be one minute and I'll go and get another cable. So give me one minute, folks. Still recording. Right, I'm back already. Just gone and got another identical external hard drive. Yeah, the boxes, they come in like that. Like I said, they're about £100, sometimes £120 for a 4 terabyte hard drive. So all I'm going to do is take the USB cable off this hard drive and switch it with the one that I've got installed on that one, in case I've got a bad cable. So, just give me a second while I do that. So 
I've got to disconnect it from the hard drive and from the Sun Vision box, which is a bit of a pain. And then attach the new one. Okay. You saw me attach it before, so I'm not going to bother filming that again. You won't have to do this, so it's just it's it's possible I've got a faulty cable. Possibly. Okay, so switch the cable, USB cable, USB cable into the SunVision device. Now I need to see if this comes up with a USB device. If it doesn't, I don't know what's going on basically, and I'll stop this video and make a new one. So I've definitely, I've got power to the USB, uh, to the external hard drive, the thing with videos on I want to play on my there we go so there you go I had a faulty cable so it's possible my Asus Oplay hasn't failed then typical isn't that too I've just gone and bought a new device and all it was was a faulty USB cable anyway right once you've got USB then the main button here press that in I'm not pointing at the device so point at the Sun Vision press the main big button and that should open up. Yeah, there we go. Now it's showing Toro. You know that's the name of my hard drive, and that's saying it's a C drive. Uh, again, press the main button while pointing at the device. And that should then, there, there we go. Now it's giving me a list of folders that are on the hard drive. Um, for privacy purposes, I'm not going to show you all those, because these are my camcorder videos. So I'm going to get down to something I can show you. Uh, by using the up, down, is how you get through folders. I'll show you once I can show you what's on there. Um, and the reason it's private is because I've got my sister's baby videos on there, so which is private. But anyway, I can show you things like that. So you end up, once you've gone into USB, you then end up with a list of folders. Each of these folders contain camcorder footage of mine. And I label them like this, giving you a date and what, what was going on. React is an air show, Ducks with air show, babies, uh, blah blah blah, snitty show, okay. So, what shall I show you? Um, let's go, I'll show you. So, using the remote control, again, I just tried doing that, point the remote control and trying to do something. If you do that and point at the TV, it's not going to work. You have to point at the Sun Vision device down there. So, remember to do that. So, I'm going to go. So once you've moved the arrow on this, get to the folder you want, then press the big, big button in the middle. Okay. Uh, press that again, let's see what happens. Right, and then once you're inside the folder, it'll then show you what files you've got in that folder. So all of these are videos of mine. Um, let's try and I'm using the down arrow on that circle in the middle of the control to move down. Just trying to find something that might be worth showing you. Let me pan away. Or will I have a hunt? All right, that'll do. I'll do. Fly, this is Duxford Flying Legends Air Show 16 Planes Mass Flyby Finale. This was in July 2014, okay? So once you've got to the video you want to play, again, you simply press the big button there while pointing at the device. And hopefully, the video, there you go, the video is now playing. Um, just need to get my, then you use your TV remote control to do the volume. And there we go. I've got sound and I've got video playing through the SunVision Cyclone Micro 4 device. Awesome. And uh, this is my video, so I don't care about like copyright reasons, I don't mind if this gets put on YouTube. So there you go. Perfect. All right, and now, and then to stop a video, remote control, stop button, point at the device, and it stops. And there we go. So that's how to set up um, 
a Sun Vision Micro, uh, sorry, Sun Vision Cyclone Micro 4. So basically, HDMI cable to the back of your TV and to the device. Uh, you attach an external hard drive using the USB port on the micro device here. And obviously, you've then got to have the power uh, plug attached to the Sun Vision. And you've also got to have power to the hard drive. So all this device does basically is act as a bridge between hard drive and your TV. It, this device enables anything you've got on hard drive to be played on your TV. And you saw the list before. There's all kinds of different formats videos come in from the internet. Typically, most people are only going to deal with four or five different types of endings. MKV, MP4, AVI, things like that. But once you've got a camcorder, you're going to end up with a whole load of other um, endings, and it can get quite confusing. There's there's a couple of dozen different endings I end up using. So anyway, uh, and also, of course, if you don't have stuff on a hard drive, you can plug in um, an SD card into the USB port by using um, an SD card reader, uh, something like an int integral uh, device, which looks like a little white stick. You stick the SD card into that and you can play videos off an SD card on your TV again. So there you go. I hope that's helped you understand how to set one of these up. It didn't take me too long. and The only difficulty was obviously I had a faulty USB cable, so which is rather annoying because I suspect, therefore, there's nothing wrong with my Asus Oplay. So I didn't have to go and shell out that money for this um, Sun Vision device. That is bloody annoying, pardon my French, oops. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Any questions, leave me a question. Click like if you like that. Uh, subscribe to me, look at my other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.